how to set up an AI email agent. I'm gonna show you how to give the agent access to your unread emails so it can draft a response. If you missed part one, then I recommend you bookmark this and follow us and check back on that later. So we've already set up our AI agent that has access to a chatbot, memory, and it can already send email. Next, we need to give our agent access to our emails so we can read them. So in the top right hand corner, select the plus button, type in Gmail, select the first result, and then scroll to get many messages. So I'd recommend updating agent's name at the top so it clearly outlines what it does. So I'm going to change this to read emails. And the tool description states that set automatically, resources, message, and operation get many. And then the last step is allowing the agent access to create a draft response to any unread emails. So again, we click the button in the top right hand corner, type in Gmail, select the first result, and then scroll to create a draft. Again, I recommend that you update the agent name so it's clearly describing what it does. And then the tool description again set automatically, resources draft, operation is create, and then we've got some custom code in the subject and message line. Our agent is now ready, so let's test it out. I'm going to ask it to read the latest unread email and draft a response. And you'll be able to see the AI agent using the chat model and all the different tools that are available for it. And then you'll be able to see I read the latest unread email from Stephen Flanagan, subject inquiry to work together and it's drafted the response. So let's just tell it to go ahead and send it. And that's now been sent, so let's check it out. So this is the original inquiry, and here's the detailed response from our agent, and it even asked for more detail about the inquiry. In part three, I'm gonna give it access to our Google Calendar and Slack, so if you wanna see that, hit the follow button.